Hey guys, so what's up? It's me, Parissa. Now I realize we've never done a tutorial on this character, but I wanted to go ahead and draw a tutorial on him today. And it is Forky from Toy Story 4, because he's my favorite character from that entire movie. I thought he would honestly turn out evil. Spoiler alert, he didn't. He's just fantastic, but I want to go ahead and draw him today because he's my favorite. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and since Forky is a spork, we're just going to draw like a really long oval and the oval is going to get a little bit skinnier at the bottom. Make this nice and wide on top. lay out the total view of his entire body. So when we draw a spork at the bottom, it rounds down, go on down, bring out the bottom of this side too, bring it down, and it gets a little bit wider at the bottom. Then at the bottom right here, what we're going to do is you're just going to make like a gloop. And that's basically what it is. It must be gum or dried up paste, not sure. It looks a lot more like gum. <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead and just kind of round off the bottom here. And then put that gloop together. There you go. There's some gloopy gloop. Now, what you're going to do after the gloop is you're gonna bring out one popsicle stick here. So I'm gonna just bring it out to the side, round it in. So you're going to round it in, go right back into that gum gloopy gloop, and then you're going to jump over here, and do the exact same thing, round it in, and go back, and then we'll add a couple of details later, like he has a little sticker, and add a little bit more dimension down here. Straight about here, we're just going to make like a little bit of a, a little bit of a circle here just to let us know where his little fiber cleaner, the fiberglass cleaner is going to go. So you're going to go out and then you're going to bring it in and then this one's going to go out and up. So we can go ahead and just lay that out. Since we have an overall look of his body and where to place what, let's go ahead and zoom in, add some details. The first thing I would like to do is go ahead and jump inside of his face. We have one big circle here. We'll clear up some guidelines in a second. One big circle here, and then off to the side, we got another circle. So there's no use for our little eye guideline or our, or our nose guideline. So let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And we can actually just kind of like go ahead and attach that circle to the bottom by erasing those guidelines from when we started. And we'll erase up top in a second once we put the little, the little spiky spork fork things on top. So we're gonna put one eye here, and then one eye here. Now one pupil's gonna kinda go off in one direction over here, and that's cause it's googly eyes, and we got a little bit of a shine here, and we can go ahead and color in the entire pupil. Alrighty, now you're gonna jump down here just a little bit towards the bottom of this eye, and then bigger pupil's gonna go down here. And you're gonna make a little shine in his eye right here. And you can go ahead and fill in that pupil. So it's okay for the googly eyes to be off. He's either trash or toy, we'll never know. <laughs> so I'm gonna just lightly erase inside and open up that white space for inside of that eye. Next, what you're gonna do, let's go ahead and give him his smile. Now his smile looks like it's a piece of like licorice or clay put together. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start up the top. So you're going to go right in the middle and kind of curve it upwards. And then you're going to curve down, get pretty close to the bottom, and you're going to go right back up. So you got this big open smile. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to start in the corner, make it pretty thin. And I'm gonna go around and just mimic inside those lines that I just made. And over here, it looks like where Bonnie connected whatever she made to make the mouth right about here. So I'm just gonna make a little bit of a line. I'll go ahead and shade this in just a little bit because it is a light blue. 
Actually, I'll color that later. Next, what you're going to do, on top of his eyebrow, we're actually going to go right all the way up to the top of his eye, <laughs> of his sporks, whatever, spikes. <laughs> you're going to go, you're going to start from the top over here, and I'm just going to go and line it down close to his eyes. You see how I kind of get a little bit close, and I'm actually going to use that rest of that top of that guideline that we had to go ahead and fill it in, and that's either... Once again, a piece of licorice or clay. Now, going on top of his head, we've got, we start to get a little bit closer because with sporks, it starts to go in. And then we have one little spike here. Then we have another little spike. Now they're not spiky spikes. Sporks are not sharp, but we just want to go ahead and give a little bit of a pointy top. Another one in the middle. And you actually want to connect all the way on this side. So like we did over here, how we started to go inwards, you're going to go inwards over here. So it goes in, go closer, and you're going to connect. And you have your spork, the sporky spork top. So you go in here and in here, and you make those four little sporks, not too sharp, not too spiky. Sporks are supposed to be the least dangerous of utensils. Most sporks have like the back of you plastic utensils. You kind of go down in the middle just to give that indention. It's the back of a spork. You cannot draw Forky wrong, trust me. <laughs> so I'm just going to lightly draw through and continue on. Make, keep making this a little bit of a spork and I actually want to go ahead and you've got like these little like pieces just like a couple of round pieces just to show most plastic utensils have these just a couple of pieces and a couple of lines going through it's just the plastic buildup now let's get to his little um, bendable arms where we started in the middle here you're gonna actually just go in the middle and I'm just going to make a little bit, it looks like a rounded rectangle here. Then I'm gonna jump off to the side and I'm gonna go in here. So you see how I go in and I'm gonna just draw through lightly to the other side. So it looks like a crisscross. So it looks like we just made a pretzel. Alrighty. Then off to the side, how we made this arm over here. This, we're just gonna go ahead and I'm just going to line alongside this line that we originally made. So it comes from this part right here, the middle part. You're going to round it down. You want to make it overly all equal, just like how I didn't do right down here. You're going to come down here, round this out. So I'm going to go into that bottom right there. And this is going to go in. It's going to round down and we're going to have another little piece right here kind of folded in two. All right. After this, you're going to jump onto this side and we're going to make it like we just made it. There's the other side. The other twist is coming out to here and it's going to go up. So I'm going to jump, make this nice and same width on each side. So we're gonna stop here, so this is where it gets a little tricky. So I'm gonna jump in the middle and stop right here. And I'm gonna go out, in, out, in here, and out this side, and then down. Now I'm gonna make this nice and thick and it's kinda good going to get a little bit close together so I'm just gonna go in here I'm gonna connect to here and I'm gonna keep going on in the inside go in make it a little wider here
Now the thing to his arms is it's not just this nice rounded line. Fuzzy, so you can go around and make it nice and fuzzy. Now for the bottom for the gloopy gloop. Now for, since he is in gum, looks like, you're just gonna kind of like add a little bit more dimension to it. So gum, when it's pressed down against something or if it's on your shoe, you know it's just not this rounded off thing. You wanna give it a little bit more dimension that you can bring up the sides a little bit, bring down this crease and you can give a little crease here. Bring this down, go in, you can just kind of like, you know, make it, it's not just rounded, to make it more realistic and more believable, you can go around, kind of give it a little bit more texture that it is actual gum. And like, you can kind of go in and shade it where you want. And a shade at the bottom underneath. Now for the popsicle sticks, to give a little bit more dimension, we made this bottom part and around. You're gonna jump on top and kind of round off the bottom over here so it looks like an actual popsicle stick. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Go all the way off to the side where it's rounded, bring this around, and go back in. Most importantly, he has a little sticker right here. And since we're looking at him upside down, you're just gonna make the rainbow upside down. I'm gonna round off the bottom here just kind of like, it looks like the Lucky Charms rainbow, so I'm nice and fat. It's just kind of hanging off on his little popsicle stick. So the sticker's not fully on. It looks like it's kind of hanging off, like Bonnie didn't press it on all the way. And you're just gonna go ahead and break up the rainbow into sections. There's Forky. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna zoom out and show you how I would color Forky. And there you guys go! There's how to draw Forky, my favorite character from Toy Story 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video tutorial and I will see you all later. Bye!